All right, so I'm actually very excited about this. This I picked up in Krakow, Poland, an antique store that is near the center of the old city, but yet on the second floor. Not very many people seem to go there, but honestly, they have wonderful prices. If you want the information, the information is right here. They do sell stuff online if you're ever in Krakow. And want to get something for a fair rate that's not over exceeding from an antique store, I highly recommend them. I was actually going to another one that I picked up uh, Polish World War I postcards from earlier, um, about two years ago. But this um, is a German World War I uh, chest that was made into a memory box. Allegedly, these locks here are patent pended. Um, not patent pending, but unique. Goodness, this one doesn't want to come. Come on. Give me a sec. There we go. Kaboom. Push out, push down. There we go. Now, let's get this up. And get this up. Sorry, you got jostled around a little bit, and I have not gone through this. But there we go through this together. The reason I picked this up is I love my letters. I don't do enough videos on them, sadly, but I love my letters. Someone is learning uh, English, it seems, or German. But this is... World War II. This one is actually censored. That's interesting. I don't usually see uh, tons of German ones that are censored. Huh. I guess uh, he was a prisoner of war after the war. This is this individual's box, though. And we're going to go through it. Show you what's in here. I'm going to guess this was either found in an attic or in a barn, which I'm not sure. This one's to his mother, and Isley and Gisley. I'm gonna read that one eventually. Some more letters. 19 March, 1946, so yeah, all those are after the war. Don't know what that photo is of. I'm gonna put that aside, get all these photos and whatnot. These things are actually covered in a nice layer of dust, which is good, but not good. Fortnite for German POWs, English for all. So I'm guessing this is a POW paper. That's kind of cool. I'm writing letters, examples of letters. That I could actually use for my uh, letter collection. That one I'm going to put to another side. All these I'm going to eventually get nice and picked up and clean. Uh, I have no clue what this is for. That's kind of cool. A little receipt. And then more it seems of the grammar and the writing between English and German right here. Even lines. This is, I guess, this is just a piece of paper that was used to hold it. And these more from 45, 28 December 45. These are all ripped, so I'm curious if they're just pieces of what he had. Put those there. This one was probably also when he was captured, because this is after the war. Talking to his family, and more to his family. I guess all these right here are after the war, which is kind of cool in itself. Then you have a map case with a map and seems like a piece of newspaper. That's interesting. Weird. All right. I just see the letters. I'm going to pull out some other stuff. This. Oh, do not drop, do not drop, do not drop. Okay, thank goodness. These are all glass photos. Or slides, I'm gonna guess. They're all dirty as heck, though. Uh, let's see if I can get one to shine through. Looks like a family. He looks like a soldier on a beach. That's interesting. 
have to go through and see if I can get these uh, uh, looked at better. But there are, goodness, one, two, three, well, that's not a glass slide. This is, these two are, looks like burnt out negatives, which are sad if they are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve glass slides there. I'm gonna guess these are what tells what's on the slide. There's a few of those. These I have to be very careful with. Put those aside. And then pulling out all the interesting stuff before I go for the Feld post. This looks like an old piece of a photo frame. I don't know. That's interesting as well. Maybe a light. I'm really not sure there. Anybody knows what this is, let me know. This is Kodak film, I think. Kodak. Yep, 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 yep. This is film. I'm going to have to take that out and actually look at it and see if we can get any images off that. So one roll of film right there. Um, piece of Kodak film carriage. Uh... That looks like a destroyed one. Sadly, oh goodness, it is falling apart. I don't think we get whatever was on that off that. Sad. And then this is photo. Looks like a bunch of people at a dock. Put that there. All these are gonna have to get cleaned up. This is a glass cylinder. Curious what that's for. Um, maybe I shouldn't be touching that. I uh, don't know. We'll put that over to the side. Maybe that's for photos as well. Maybe this is what that's for, is for black light. Uh, then we have this thing. Maybe that goes with the top. I don't actually know. It has a small chip right there. But other than that, it's in pretty decent condition. Oh, man. This thing has been sitting. And I got this from underneath a table that they had because I was asking them what I what they had for letters. There's more uh, negatives. These negatives are going to go with the negative pile. This is a folding photo uh, wallet. Uh, these I might be able to clean up a little bit. They need a good wipe down though with a Slightly damp cloth and be dried off very fast so we don't ruin the photos. I'll put those by the photos. This is some kind of a cardboard disc. No, this is leather. A leather disc of something. I don't know. That's interesting. I think I'm going to speed a saving. We're going to try. That's another roll of film. There's another glass one. Looks like a soldier in front of a castle gate. It's very dusty. I have to clean that off very gently and make sure I don't damage anything there. Um, have a piece of a newspaper. That I'll put over by the newspapers. Oh, goodness, this, curious if the photo's still in here. This is a uh, CVT photo, uh, well, the back of one. Um, that's, oh, man, I love stuff like this. I really do. I'm going to go through these letters even individually when I have a chance to. But these are all his felled post. Uh, looks like, oh, there are more photos in here. I do that so I can separate them. Um... Feld post. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't see the number on here. There should be a number on some of these, and it can tell you exactly where or who he served with. Um, KD205. So it's some kind of division. And uh, it's sending it to his wife, I bet, or his mother. Frau Gissi Miller. 
but these filled posts are going to go into a different pile because these are all going to pull out of this chest. I hate to say it, but none of this stuff is going to go back in the chest. Don't need more videos, and this one's already going to be long enough, so if you guys are skipping through it, by all means, um, can you say that might be his wife? Not sure. Not sure at all. And this is military censored civil mail. Uh, that's probably from one of the letter backs, so probably one of the ones he had. And there's a Feld postcard from 42. That's of a town. And then we got more letters, more letters. I love the letters. I don't think you understand. Like, the letters are my thing. Um, I do a lot of videos on other things. It just takes a while for me to do the letters. It's not that I'm not interested in them anymore. I, this, this is what I love going through. But I just don't have the time right now to make videos until uh, I get transitioned through my military stuff. There's another newspaper clipping. That's going to go with the papers. Some more letters. Letter uh, this is... I have no clue. Model, format, and yeah, I guess that's to get photos back. That with the slips. This looks like a broken bridge. More, more. Goodness, a lot more. Let me get careful, clean these out. That's why, because there's always stuff in between. That is... Uh, it doesn't seem German, but it might be. Okay, first things first. Get these letters set down. Set down. Um... German. Just talking about industry. I'll go by the papers. Maybe I'll do a video on that when I have a chance to. Um, uh, maybe I can get something out of this native. I'm not hopeful for that one. Um, then screen. Looks like a family. Might be a family. Here's some what that was ripped from. Then orange platin. Those are gonna go by the other little things. And I guess these are for more. I'm gonna put that with the glass ones because there's a whole set of glass right here. More newspaper clippings. This is a part of a letter. So it goes with letters. These go with the newspaper clippings. And the other one is an opal thing. So we'll put that there. This, this is why I asked for the whole book actually originally. It's because this had photos and there are some soldier photos. They're not great condition. Um, let's see if I can pull that. Like, it's showing camps and whatnot. So there's a photo book out of it. Uh, I will get those scanned. That one's probably the best looking one. Um, and these, I'm gonna guess, was for another part of the glass for the top. So put that over to the, that side. This looks like a watch band. Not entirely sure, but it looks like a watch band. So I'll put that. That's what that circle might be. It might be the backing and that might be the front. I don't know. Another letter. Might be able to get stuff off this roll. We will see. There's another top to one of the cases. That's going to go over there. More glass photos or slides. I'm not entirely sure. I don't really 
have actually ever gotten them. Negatives, negatives. Another set of photos. And I believe all these are photos too, so we'll grab all those to pull those out. That's uh, actually a half track, one of the early models. That's kind of cool. So photos, photos go with photos. Oh, oh, that's interesting. Part of a cone. I'll go by the watch stuff and start taking the letters out of here. I'm gonna go through the letters as well, because sometimes there is stuff in the letters. Sometimes they left the stuff in the letters. Ah, here's the front. Guess it was a baby photo. Seems very well worn. It will be scanned and will be protected though. That is what I do with these. I'm so happy. Oh, there. Sadly, it's a little beat up, but it's the happy couple. It will still be scanned, honestly. Even the bad photos I want scanned and actually trying to make it look better. Oh, this one's this one's stuck to the bottom of the wood piece. There's a soldier right there, and it looks like he's under something. Sadly, it doesn't have anything on it, but my goodness. So going through this, I paid about 200 US or 800 Zelati for this. I'm not saying it's cheap. I'm not saying that, you know, you should be out spending all that money. I will say for me, and there's the sand all the way in the back, um, it's definitely worth it. That's him and a goat. Or a sheep. It might be a sheep. All right. Now we pull out more of this. Oh, goodness gracious. Ugh. These letters, at least termites haven't gotten to them. The letters are actually in better shape than the photos. We have to fully go through these letters, though, and make sure everything's fine with them. They're all going to get scanned in as soon as I'm able to. Hopefully that's sooner than later. Uh, another back of a box. Oh, that's not good. That's a live round. So, we have a live 8mm round. That's interesting. No one really went through this box, though. But these are photos. Photos. So put those to the side. Those are the glass ones. Glass slides, maybe they're supposed to be called. More. I have to go through these and clean them all off. Um, even more. This might be a treasure trove of photographs. This has stuff in there. Some more. Oh my goodness, I'm going to really have a lot of time. And then these are more glass ones. And these two are, actually they're full, full rolls. And that's for the photos. We have stamps in here. Probably from the felled post that they fell off of, the loof post, felled post. This is uh, just for photos but it has stuff so I'll save it a lot of this stuff is gonna be thrown away that's not it's all the sand and whatnot I'm gonna have to deactivate that round because I do not want live rounds um, that's a broken piece and that is one all right and this is supposed to go here, so I'll probably fix the box. The box is cool. still has most of the original workings to it. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, that is a metal band of something. Not entirely sure. Uh, maybe I'll clean that up. We'll see. We'll see what we find all together. But, oh, that's what's for. It's for this, the frame. This is, you can see the top one, the bottom one probably. Yep. All the rest of this I'm going to throw away and deactivate this thing I can't have still live. This is a steel round as well. Um, it's produced in 40. A little hard to see here. The bottom part right there, you can see the 40. And then up here is the factory it was produced in. But yeah, this has to get deactivated. So...
hopefully you guys enjoyed it's a long video 19 20 minutes almost 20 to 21 um it's cool to see all the stuff hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing all of it i was so happy to find this thing especially for 200 dollars. i mean i know i could probably if i'm lucky find something for cheaper but i've never gotten one of these soldier cases with all their memories so this makes me really happy but hopefully you guys have a wonderful one and you know have a good morning afternoon or evening enjoy the rest of your day